Hey, Glam Fam. Hey, you guys. <laughs> it's me, Linwood, and this beautiful queen right here <laughs> is my lovely wife, Allison. And today, we're going to be reviewing a wig from RPGshow.com. So, if you haven't seen their wigs before, we're going to show you today. For a long time, we had been eyeballing their wigs, and they contacted us, and they were like, would you like for us to send you a wig to review? We were like, <laughs> yeah. So, here we are. This is our first time seeing an RPG Show wig. <laughs> in person and they have long had a great reputation so we're excited. It comes in a lovely bag like this here. Uh, by the way, the name of this wig is Brianna. And uh, it comes with all the order information on there so just in case you forgot what you ordered. That's nice. So here. It's a very nice color. It's different. Yeah. Oh, uh, so the texture on this wig is yakky. Now, the thing that I like about this is even though it's yakky, like it feels like, um, blown out or pressed out natural hair, but it doesn't look like most yakis. It really looks more like, I would say like a light yaki. It feels like a yaki. This is a 200 density wig. So for those who don't know, most wigs come at about 150 density. Then from there, like a thick wig is considered to be like usually 180 density. 200% uh, density is a really thick wig, which is nice because that means the ends and things aren't gonna be see-through. So it does have a pre-tweez hairline and this is supposed to be their updated pre-tweez because they've had this wig out for a minute now. Um, so I'm assuming they have tweezed it more than what they had prior to. Um, just so that way the edges and things are not as full or Barbie-esque. Um, cause you know, while Barbie has a dream house, everybody ain't trying to look like her hairline wise. And then they've got the band in there with the two combs on the sides and then the lar the, uh, the one regular comb right there. Now for those who don't know, Swiss lace is significantly thinner. So if you do get this wig, make sure you're very careful with the lace. Um, Swiss lace blends and melts really easily into the skin but Swiss lace is also more prone to tearing and things like that if you're just kind of rough with your wig. So just make sure that you are treating her with some TLC because if you're rough with it, you can easily tear Swiss lace. Now, if you have torn a lace wig, I do have a video on how to repair holes and things like that. Uh, so that can be rather helpful, but yeah, just be mindful. So honestly, even though it's a pre tweeze hairline, it still is pretty full, honestly. So that's basically what that scalp area is looking like. Um, Allison is gonna have to adjust her cap because you can see it back here, but yeah. In this instance, because the wig is a lighter color, I really don't feel like you would really need to have much bleaching and things done. Uh, they do offer light bleaching or heavier bleaching, so that way you can decide in terms of how light you want those knots, especially if you have a deeper skin tone, I would go with more of the light bleaching, whereas like if you have a lighter skin tone, I would typically go with the heavier bleaching, but there is a, a, a additional fee for heavier bleaching on there, so just make sure you're looking at all of your options before you make your purchase because certain things do cost more on there. Allison is gonna go ahead and cut the wig. We need to adjust the stocking cap or something because it's it's showing some differences there. And then that way, yeah, because where your hair is exposed, it's showing that darkness. Okay. And then we can go ahead and get it applied. I'll probably flat iron it out real quick and that way we can get it together for you. All that fun stuff. All right, let's get to it. Okay, let's do this. All right, so this is without any type of glue, any adhesive, anything like that, which of course you can still easily lift up the front with that but I just want you guys to be able to see, let me zoom in a bit more on this hairline. I want you guys to be able to see exactly how this hairline is looking without anything added. Um, so it is giving her some, some nice blend without any type of makeup or anything like that. Uh, but we still definitely need to go in and give it some shape with styling. And we definitely need to go in and probably tack down to give her a bit more security. To tack it down, what Allison will be using is the Got To Be Glued Spray. This one here, she's gonna be using the Got To Be Glued Spray in order to adhere down uh, the front and the sides. And then we'll go ahead and tie this down with a scarf. And I'll get into flat ironing this hair out so it's not looking so wiggy. Cause right now it's definitely giving a wiggy feel. You can just tell it just recently came straight out of the pack. All right, you ready, Alize Jenkins? Mm -hmm. Of course, with any wig, before you uh, make your purchase, make sure that you're checking their size chart and uh, how to do measurements for their wigs. Usually, they'll have a portion on the website that will kind of show you exactly how to measure your head size so that way you know you're selecting the proper size for you. So I know with Allison, she has the cap size B, uh, which is, I think, a 21 inch circumference, a um, 12 inch across here. So it's a 12 by six frontal instead of a 13 by six because Allison has a pretty small head. So usually we're having to trim excess off anyway. But 
now that she has that, I'm going to go ahead and flat iron her hair out while this is setting. And then that way we can go ahead and let you know how well this hair takes heat, all that fun stuff. Now you can get it in silky textures, by the way, but I'm loving the yakky texture of it. It just looks more natural to me. Okay, so it straightens really easily. Okay, so she's giving me some curl there, but I will say you're gonna have to take small sections. It's pretty resistant to curling in our instance. So just, you know, make sure that if you're using it for curls, I would probably use a curling iron instead of a flat iron. That way you can get more even, consistent heat, and the act of curling is not going to pull it straighter throughout all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this hair out some. It's straightened back out with ease after being curled though, so that's nice. On the sides here, it's looking like from that parietal ridge down, we've got about an inch of parting space on the sides. In the top, you've got six inches back of parting space. Now, um, the nice thing about getting a wig like this where it doesn't have the parting space set in place is that I can change the part line for it because Allison is really more of one that wears a side part rather than a center part. I know all, all the young people now wear center parts, I know, but um, we old, so um, Allison is definitely still rocking the side part, you know, I'm sure. Gen Z is the out here. The half moon side part, exact. <laughs> Gen Z, I'm sure, is out here talking about some. Uh uh. She's clearly old. She's a millennial. She's this. She's that. Uh, that's that's fine with us. We're totally fine being old people, um, who still rock side parts. Cause honestly, center parts. I'm gonna let the young folks have that. It. It's not that it's hated, but it definitely can draw attention to uneven features and things like that in the face. It draws like an imaginary line down the center of the face. And then that way you can see that, you know, I'm cockeyed really easily. And um, I'm not trying to show off my cock Is that right, Alizé Jenkins? Mm-hmm. At the scalp area, I am using a curling wand because um, finding a good quality electric pressing comb is challenging. And I want to make sure that I can get it to lay nice and smooth, like how Allison would wear uh, her hair at the scalp area. And then I'm just going in and straightening this out bone straight. I want you guys to be able to see the ends, how full they are, all of that. You guys can already see like how this hair is moving. Can I get you to turn your head towards the window? So you can see the shine on it, but it's not like super, super shiny where it looks fake, which is nice. This is a very different color too. It's it's, it's like an old school auburn. Yeah, it's not quite like as, you know, a lot of the auburns that you see now are very bright. They've got a lot of orange. This is this is like somewhere in between, which I guess is why they were calling it like a, a golden honey brown or something like that. Um, because yeah, usually that auburn is a lot more red than this. This is giving off like a like a golden copper, I'd say. It blends with your skin tone really well. Yeah, I really think you're gonna like this wig, Alice, and the texture is really nice. I like the color very much. Um, I've been looking for something to complement my brownie skin and. Ooh, <laughs> tasty. Know. I like that rich chocolate. Um, what do you call it? Melon popping melon that I see on these. <laughs> beautiful girls <laughs> and I have all this like light it's like it goes light to dark around my face and I'm just like I want one chop really rich chocolate color I want something to to really make it look good you know and then I'll go and get me some of that um, gold shimmer the, oh lord the Fenty one <laughs> No. Where it looks like you just slapped yourself in the face with gold glitter. No, I don't. It's That's excessive. Okay, so for those who are thinking like, oh my gosh, 200 density is really thick. Yes, it is. But look how full this looks. Like this wig does not look see-through at all. Can you stand up real quick for me so we can see the fullness there? That's half the wig, y'all. So like the other half is still over here. So to me, that's nice because uh, I don't know if y'all have that? seen like the straight hair wigs where it's just really thin on the bottoms. This is not giving that. So that's fantastic. It doesn't feel like it's gonna tangle either. Yeah, it feels really nice. Usually the, the nape is the problem, but um, this doesn't feel like it's one of those. Now I will say, let me be completely honest, with a wig this thick, it's going to take longer for you to style because there's more hair on the wig. So make sure that you have it prepped ahead of time or that you have it pre-styled for the day that you're wanting to wear it or that you have the time to style it out if you get this because this one doesn't come with a wave pattern. So if you have to knock out any type of uh, waves or kinks, anything like that, it may take you some time. Unless you have like one of those straightening brushes where you can basically brush it through the hair and comb it smooth with that. 
uh, that would probably be the quickest option with something like this. But if you're flat ironing a wig like this with this much density, take it's, it down. it's gonna take you some time and you wanna take some pretty small size sections, otherwise you're really not gonna get this hair smooth because it's thick. So that's not a complaint, but for those of you who are moms or you're working moms at that or you just you stuff to you know, do. you're not a hair person you may want to go with a lower density uh, or get away with a curl pattern so that way you're not having to put as much work into it because the straighter wigs do require a bit more work yeah i think this would be really good for uh some of those um I don't want to say roller techniques, but you know how like you can tie the hair in different fabrics and put a mm -hmm. scarf on. I think this would be good for that. It feels like it would hold. Yeah. Um, as you slept or whatever. As we slept. I don't use uh what are those things that I can't use? Flexi rods. Those flexi rods are <laughs> those the death are not of for me. Sleep. If you do use them, you need to use them only in the top of your head. Those are not for sleep. They are just the death of me now. So what I usually do is I put a headband on or something, and I literally wrap each section around that headband and then I put my scarf on and go to bed and it works out well. Look at this hair y'all. Okay, you ready to take that off? Alright. I don't know. I don't want to be lifting that. Why don't you move it because mm -hmm. I can't see. I can't see. I'm blind. I mean that's that sideburn right there so we don't let her hang. Okay. Uh, this here is Allison's natural hair. But thankfully, oh, it's like, back. yeah. Um, but thankfully, like you can even see here, like it's not looking. It just looks like she's got roots on her color because the I lace is roots. so thin. <laughs> like I can zoom all in here. The lace is so thin that it's really not looking like uh uh. It just looks like there's roots on her color. So um, yeah. But that way you guys can kind of see the lace, all that. Now, if you were one where, like, let's say, because this the knots are not heavily bleached. This is a light bleach, so you can still see some of the grid there. If you do have issues with that, which honestly it's not that, that noticeable, mm -hmm. but you can just slap some powder foundation in the part and call it a day, um, or you can rub some foundation on the other side. Of, and let me give y'all a clue. If y'all like me, and y'all change y'all wigs all the time, they know it ain't yours, so just be happy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I often people change People do wigs not like know girls. who I am. So every time I see people that I have talked to before, they know me, like they know me, and they be like, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. I'm just like, okay, my wig is different today. Then I'm like, oh, okay, that's it's Allison. If I say that, they know it's me then. I guess nobody else busts themselves out like, what's a wig? Mm -hmm. You want one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Allison, I'm going to go ahead and have you stand. I mean, look at this color on her, y'all. Dang, she fine. Anyway, so... Um, Allison, I'm going to go ahead and have you stand up so that way they can see the length and all that and how full it is on the end. All right, so let me see. I'm going to go ahead and run my arm under here so that way you can tell the thickness, okay? Notice my arm is really not showing like that. That hair is nice and full. So, yeah. I don't know. I love the shine on it. I, I Well, I would say I love the sheen on it. It looks like black hair. This does not look like super silky, uh, those really Brazilian, Asian, Malaysian, jin, <laughs> um, all of the jin. Um, it looks like it belongs on a person of color with actual, like a fabric of hair that has some natural surface texture. So I really appreciate that. Um, Alza, you wanna go ahead and turn around, give them the, give them the looks, the feels. How do you feel about it with it being pressed out, the feel of it and all that? I think it's gonna be my favorite wig. <laughs> they they live up to their reputation. This is some quality hair. Um, no complaints from me. It's really easy to work with. The hair feels great. Um, and of course, you know, it's, I'll put all the description box details down below, and that way you can kind of see exactly what length, thickness, all that that this is. You do have multiple options in terms of all that that you can select. So if you don't want it as long, you can go shorter. If you want it longer, you can do yeah, that. Y'all know y'all want it longer than this. Um, <laughs> the price is going to vary based on the options you select. So I see y'all out there wearing hair to your, to your, uh, was it ankles? Ankles now. That's a girl. I have I so many students now literally wearing their it. braids to where they're sweeping the floor. It is so much. And sanitary. Like they sit down, they weave all over the floor. Yes. I'm just like, girl, I need you to think about this. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, it feels really great. I like it. No complaints from me. But as always, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. You. We want to know what you think. We want your thoughts. <laughs> and yeah, until next time, you guys, take care. God bless. Stay, Stay glam. glam. Her hair is done. Now I got to go get my hair cut. <laughs> we love you both. Kill me, bye.